In our class, we're going to focus a lot on different units of things, whether it be volume or mass or weight or length, whatever it may be, we need to f worry about different units. One big group of units is located within the metric system. The units that we're going to use in the metric system uh, kind of revolve around three basic things, meters, liters, and grams. Meters are used for length, liters for volume, and grams represent mass, or you know, sometimes you'll also hear it as, as weight. We're going to have these three basic units, and you know centimeter, you know the word milliliter, and you know the word milligram, and, and kilogram, and things like that. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these basic words, meter, liter, and gram, and use different prefixes, meaning different you know, words, in front of gram and liter and meter. And when we do that, we change the size. So for example, one gram is a certain mass. And that's going to be different than one, let's say, uh, kilogram. So what we did with the word gram is we put the word kilo in front of it and changed what it means. So one gram is definitely not one kilogram. Now what does it mean to take this basic unit one gram and to describe it as one kilogram instead? Well, here are all the prefixes that are part of the metric system. The words kilo, deci, centi, milo, and micro are the ones we're going to be using most frequently. And you see the different, uh, the symbol here. So one gram, we would write that as just one, whoops, sorry. We would just write that as one G. One kilogram, if we look here, the word kilo represents a, a K. So we would put a K in front of that G. So we'd have one KG. Okay, so this is the unit that we want to abbreviate at the end. Now, what does it mean to talk about one kilo. If we put the word kilo, how does that relate to the original gram? Well, over here we have a multiplier. In other words, if we have the word kilo in front of the gram, we're talking about 1,000, or 10 to the third, we're talking about 1,000 grams. So this column to the far right here represents the amount of the basic unit. If we were talking about one, let's use... Um, microgram. Okay, This symbol here is mu. It represents micro. If we're talking about one microgram, what that is equivalent to, if we're talking about grams, that's going to be equivalent to this decimal of the basic unit. All right, so our multiplier is 10 to the negative 6, and it's equivalent to 0 0.000001 gram. This right column, again, talks about how many of the basic unit, whether it's gram or liter or meter, whatever it may be. We're going to talk about how to convert within the metric system using dimensional analysis. That will be in a future podcast. But I want to be able to convert, let's say, if I say we have 5 centi centimeters, what is that in uh, millimeters? Or if we had... 2 million micrograms, what's that in regular grams? And we can do that using dimensional analysis, but we can also convert between different units using a, a chart. So let's go to the next page and figure out how we can figure out the charts. Here's an example where you're asked to convert 153 milliliters to liters. In other words, if we had a container that had 153 milliliters, this is volume, of let's say hydrogen peroxide. And we wanted to know 150 milliliters, how is that related to, or how many total liters is that? We know they're related because they have the same unit, liters. But when we have this word milla, we know that's a certain number of, of liters. So one way that you can do this is use this chart that you were given in your notes that I created. And you can see the different multiplier effect. We start in the middle. That's the basic unit, liter or gram or meter, whatever it may be. 
And then as we go to the right, that those are the smaller amounts. So over here we have microgram or microliter. Here we have milla, and we have a key down here just in case you uh, are unsure of what these symbols what represent. The ones that you should be familiar with that you're going to use quite frequently, uh, kilo for kilogram, that's going to be used quite frequently, uh, milla definitely for volume, and also for you know, milligrams when we're talking about the concentration of a particular um, prescription, whatever it may be, medication, milligrams, and micro. And the word micro is, is going to be used frequently, especially when we get into the titration units. So micro, milli, and kilo. Those aren't the only ones that you're going to be required to know, but definitely the ones that should be at the top of your head because they're going to be used frequently. So we want to convert 153 milliliters over here. Or I'm sorry, that's micro. 153 milliliters, so we're starting here. We could do this just like we did we were multiplying by powers of 10, we were using scientific notation. What I suggest you do is to take or, or start where you are. So here we're starting with milliliters, right? This is milli. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to end. Let me just write the word start right there. We're starting here. And we're ending at liters, which is just the basic unit of liters. So we want to end at this unit right here. And what we want to do is just figure out, okay, we're starting at milliliter, and we're going one, two, three. We are going three units to the left. This is going to be equivalent to moving three units to the left. In other words, move the decimal point three units to the left. So our number was 153. And we know that our decimal point really is right there, right? 153.0 is equivalent in the sense that 153 and 153.0, not necessarily with significant figures, but they are the same amount. We know that using our chart to go from milli to the basic unit, we have to go one, two, three steps to the left. So that's what our decimal point is going to move. One, two, three. So our solution will be one, 153 thousandths, in other words, 0 0.153 liters. That would be our solution. Let's do another quick one. Let's do um, 2.75 kilograms, and let's convert that to some amount of milligrams. So we're starting here at kilograms, right? This is our starting point. So I'll just make a marking here. And we're ending over here at milligrams. So we're moving one, two, three, four, five, six to the right. So that's how the decimal point should move. 2.75. We're going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we can go back and put in our zeros. And we're going to have 2.75 and then four zeros, which will result in 2,750,000 milligrams. Again, this chart can help you by circling the starting point, circling the ending point, and determining how many spaces we're going either to the left or to the right. From beginning to end, where is the line moving? And that's going to tell you how the decimal point will move. Obviously, in order to do this on a quiz or on a test, you would have to set up a basic chart like this. The ones that you'll have to know for sure are the basic unit is in the middle. You know milli is three spaces to the right. Micro is six spaces to the right. And kilo is one, two, three spaces to the left. And if you could set those up using almost like a number line, that can help you convert within the metric system.